It was his mother's leg. It had cramped again. It was also election day in the US, 4th November 2008. I had to be on call, live on my television network, the entire day. I asked for a work from home so I could look after my mother-in-law and went to Summit's house. As she lay on the pillow listening to bhajans, I massaged her legs. There was hair on them, and warts, but still, I massaged them. I gave her a hot water bottle. I found her medicines and administered them. I thought I'd make a nice lunch for the family, but work got more hectic. Sunit refused to help. His father and he were watching Pardes. A working adult had to cook for three non-working adults because she was a woman. I didn't protest. But I also didn't have the time to soak basmati rice for 30 minutes before cooking it the way they liked it. I didn't have the time to cook loki or make raita. You will find the link in the description of this video. We sat down to eat. Thanks for the watching this video. It is crucial for me that you and subscribe and give a like. And I appreciate it. And you added haldi before the lal mirchi again. Finally, if you again, activate the you? bell icon, you will Sorry. receive a notice from YouTube I every time I upload I a new video. Dad criticized my food day. every time I cook, so I stopped trying to impress him. Sunit glared at me again. This seemed to be his de facto face with me when his parents were around, a face designed to show them that their ladla beta controlled his wife. I was past the point of caring. I wasn't superwoman and didn't intend to be one. They were discussing Kamini and a move back to Summit's house next week. She would be joining us for dinner today. They had held a separate family meeting with her the previous week, sons only me, on the condition that she apologized to them for having broken their trust and brought grief to their family. An email had found its way into my inbox as well, apologizing for the toll her actions had taken on my marriage. I hadn't asked for an apology nor needed one. She wasn't the reason there was a toll on my marriage. But this was their condition for letting her back into the house, into her house. I was just glad that I would no longer be the only outsider in this hell of a family. Later that evening when we were cooking dinner in the kitchen, Ma turned to me and said, I was going to